Cool. Area 41 is over, pretty much, almost. Uh, how did we do? That doesn't sound horrible. So glad you liked it. Um, we sold out, as you well know. Uh, our biggest concern was what is what happens if people don't show up? Like, even if people have tickets and they don't show up, it kind of sucks because there's like dozens of people who didn't get a ticket that then is empty seats. But 96% of you showed up. So thank you all so much for coming here and making this a great experience for everyone. Hold on, though. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about performance metrics for you all, though. So some key metrics, um, kind of keep track if you were doing okay as well. For this conference, we ended up at 2.25 CMPH. Uh, you all know what CMPH know, uh, means. It's a club multi per hacker. <laughs> this is all the club multi you drank. Yesterday. This is all the clue mod you drank in those two days, actually. More or less. I think by now it's probably more. We were concerned. Yeah, I saw a few more bottles getting opened, so probably uh, more. So, yeah. Uh, the folks at Complex, I think, took note that we need more mod next time. So, that's a lesson learned. And let's talk about the batch. Candy, do you want to take this one? Yeah, actually, let's get Adrian on that one as well. Because, I mean, we did a lot of work on the batch. Although I had the easy part, right? Because uh, I just did the design and kind of my wish list and a few things that we should do. And as always, you just get a developer to do it, right? And you're good with software, so um, you actually did something with it, did you? Yeah, we. I got a little help as well. So uh, we did it together. Two guys uh, wrote a bit of software. Um, we tried a few new things, like BLE. Yeah, the Bluetooth thing, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the first time we have a batch for the area with Bluetooth. Yeah, we had Wi-Fi before. Now we have Bluetooth. Um, of course, having 400 people with a Bluetooth device in one room, there is some interference, yeah. so yes. Um, we, we didn't know how that performs, so uh, it was a bit of a risk. Um, what we didn't know beforehand was that if the battery is going down, it's behaving a little bit strange. We didn't know... Like that. <laughs> um, so it, it behaves a little bit strange, and we don't know why, so we would have to look into that. But anyway, so refresh doesn't work, stuff like that. Um, if you have a batch which behaves st strange, um, just fill it up. So plug it into the USB-C. Yeah. The battery pack on the back will automatically charge, as long as you still have it plugged <laughs> in, of course. Of course. Or just uh, do that uh, wipe, just press all four buttons and press the reset button on the back and then it erases the uh, config and you're good to go again. It has four colors. It will oscillate a little bit if it paints all those four colors. And with four colors you mean grayscale, right? Yeah, Not as of in course, green, of red, course. blue. Well, it's white, black, light gray and dark gray. So, okay, yeah. fair enough. I thought yeah. I'm getting colorblind there because I didn't see four colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and to see the full colors, we will publish the configuration file which you can upload um, or, or flash to the batch and then it's completely unlocked. You should see everything which is on, on it. So once we're back, we'll upload more information on the batch HTML website there. Uh, as we said, the config file, a few more interesting facts behind it. So stay tuned on that. As I said, highly recommend, of course, using the batch at home for your own projects. If for whatever reason you don't want it, we don't want to waste stuff, electronics, right? So there is a box at the entrance, if they haven't moved it away yet, uh, where you can deposit it and we'll happily reuse it. So um, we're not going to waste it. But what about those Easter eggs, right? I mean, well... Yeah, that's probably the thing everybody's waiting for. I assume so. Yeah. So walk us through it, kind of where could they find the Easter eggs? Um, mostly in the settings app, because you're clicking around everything, 
all the other apps have functions on the button, so the settings app is the most obvious one to, to hide stuff. The codes you see here are um, quite easy. Most of them are written on the batch, except the P. The P is for? That's for the padlock. <laughs> Yeah, that, See, the logo that's even an Easter egg to find right. that. Yeah. So if you press the padlock about 10 times or just randomly while dozing off, then of course one of those Easter eggs will kind of solve itself, I guess. Yeah, and, and if you find one of those, the, the secret menu will, uh, will be available. Just uh, go to the right or to the left in the normal menu and the other one will, will show up. There are two Easter eggs which can't be unlocked by just clicking wildly around. You have to set or try to set your nickname with either, I accept, oh, that should be a lower I, by the way. It is, yeah. I, it, it should say, I accept the risk. That's one. And the other one is, oh, there's a lot. It's autocorrect for the win. P, damn. Or picks or it didn't happen. So picks or it didn't happen. Yeah, we'll show picks. And the other one I leave for you to find out. Yeah. And for those who actually found the well, the simplest one with just a padlock, 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 there would have been the QR code, or still is. There is. For the ruffle, and we had about a little more than 100 people who actually found it and submitted something. We'll come to that later on with the ruffle. So there are some prizes on that one as well. The same for the people who solved all of the challenges. So we had some people who managed to get all of those. Most of them by dumping the firmware and just doing strings on it. Which, yeah, we didn't really do too much obfuscation. No. I mean, that's fair enough. Some people use some OSINT to, well, go to the source directly, I guess. Yeah, which is findable. Which is fair as well. So, yeah. yes, if you know what you search for, you might find the source code online as well. Yeah. So, one team, as in the first one, will get some price as well in a second. And, and I guess that's, that's about, about it, it from the batch, right? So, let's move on and go to the feedback raffle. So, now I need to shuffle here. Let's see how many we got. This is uh, strictly scientific. and uh, So I see 97 so far submitted. 98, thank you. <laughs> going once, going twice. Okay, so sweet. Uh, 99, thank you. Oh, and then even know that person. Thank you. Um, so we're going to... Proof here with ChatGPT, no, a real random number generator um, from between 1 and 99, and you, lucky you, number 91. You know it's real because it has real in the name. Exactly. So 91 is one which is empty, so thank you, but unfortunately no prize. Let's try again. We could be here for a while. So 19, 1, 9. Now I have to scroll up. You really make it hard for me. Sai, as in Z-A-I. Are you in the room? I see someone leaving there. Woo! Please come up here. <clears throat> you get a nice uh, voucher for a non-descriptive uh, Swiss online electronics store. And the other lucky number is 48. Should have been 42, I guess, but... Or 41. 41, yeah. So that's, uh, well, I assume it's Lucas 8, but it's Lucas Z. -D. So Lucas Z D. Lucas. I think. Lucas. <laughs> uh, all right. Perfect. So much appreciated for the uh, feedback. Keep them coming, as we said. And yes, we do have a few more. So we mentioned there was the one with the batch, right? The one that had a QR code if you fell asleep and typed in the padlock, padlock. And we had the draw before, scientifically proven. And the winner is, and has to be in the room, I probably should say, otherwise we'll go to the next one, is Mark Winiger. Mark, are you in the room? I see someone coming up here. So could we get someone from hands-on security? <clears throat> <clears throat> Actually, he gets the one from hands-on security. Um, Pascal, where are you? You're over there. Perfect. Sorry, Mark, you still have to stand up again. So hands-on security provides a, well, as the name implies, a hands-on security task. Um, 
So perfect. And for the ones that actually solved the uh, challenge, that is the team under the name. Let me get it. I think it was Nini. Um, find me afterwards as well. As already um, mentioned, you'll get as well the voucher for the electronic store. So thank you for solving it. All the others keep solving. And I guess we'll get to the next. Oh, no, actually, sorry. There are more, right? There was that Kubernetes challenge. That either was too hard or you really were enjoying the barbecue yesterday because we only had one person who solved it correctly so far. So A, it was solvable, but B, you probably enjoyed the barbecue, which is fine. So Record actually said they're going to extend it till Sunday night, so you still have the chance to recover tomorrow and then still play the Kubernetes one. The link is in the Twitter. Uh, we'll kind of retweet it as, as well. So if you want to win second or third prize, you still have a chance. They have some nice prizes, some electronic gadgets as well. Then we had the Fortinet upstairs. They had the challenge with a few buttons, uh, which worked quite well. They had 145 people who uh, solved it. Then we had to steal their Beamer, because unfortunately the one downstairs in track two overheated. Uh, so kudos to Fortinet for landing the beat Beamer and probably also stopping at the 145. Uh, so that's very nice. Another challenge was the code review, code solving one from Clue. And here we have the winner, which is the nickname I98. Please come on front if you're here. <laughs> Perfect. So, awesome. Let me check if that was everything so far. I know there have been a few more ruffles. They will contact you directly if you solve something. And I think now it is it. Back to you, Stefan. Well, yes. Um, I'm waiting for a day when like five people stand up when we say a random nickname. And we have somehow to prove that, but OK. They should. Um, yeah, we're almost at the end of this. Um, but we want to say thank you again to our sponsors before we wrap up. This wouldn't be possible without them. Uh, we couldn't maintain the ticket prices that we have. We couldn't do catering without them. We wouldn't have half of the challenges, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> so we really appreciate them. So um, first of all, thanks to our Platinum sponsors, Compass, Fortinet, and Splunk. Uh, they did an amazing job giving us uh, security to plan this event, to go into this with you know high ambitions, I would say and to like enable us to do this. And then also, thank you to all of our gold sponsors, uh, which I'm sure you have, get, uh, you have got to know over these days, but otherwise they're still here on the slide again. I'm not going to list them all once again, because otherwise uh, I will probably fall over at some point. There's more of our excellent gold sponsors. Yeah, so I mean, probably worth at that moment to mention, um, and we're going to talk about that. We're a non-profit, volunteered association. So we put in the work, and the sponsors put in the money that we can make it happen. So definitely thanks to all the sponsors. Yeah. And I know this is a very full slide. Um, but if you work for a company that you think would be you know, good to sponsor us at like a beer on Tuesday or another event, who knows, we can add more slides. We have the ability. So, you know, keep that in mind. As Def uh, <laughs> nearly, nearly. As Candid said, we are an association. We do more than just Area 41, even though this is by far our flagship event, I would say, just in terms of scale. Um, if you would like to become a member, if you're in Switzerland, if you're not in Switzerland, it doesn't really matter. I don't think we restrict that. Um, feel free to go to dc4131.ch. Uh, our membership fee is 50 bucks a year, which gives you the warm, fuzzy feeling of supporting a hopefully good thing, supporting our event, and you kind of get an exclusive pre-sale for the tickets that sell out. So, you know, eh. <laughs> up to you. Um, there is uh, flyers outside as you leave today. You can also pick up a flyer with the QR code for this, so that should be that. So it is, we're almost at the end. We're almost at the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say thank you to all of our amazing speakers. Thank you so much for coming out, for presenting this year. <laughs> Excellent.
especially uh, the speakers who had to deal with some of the technical difficulties. We didn't have a lot of them, but I know it's very stressful and things break on short notice and you have to adapt. Amazing. Then next on my list here, and again, we're near the end. The people in the red shirts have been working tirelessly for the last two uh, days. Whenever we needed someone to like help us get something done, get like the Fortinet projector downstairs, set up track two like within like 20 minutes and get everything tested, they were there, they delivered. Thank you to all of our volunteers for this event. You have been amazing. We couldn't do this without you. And again, we have been here in Complex in 2016. We have been in a bunch of other places that were also fun. We're really happy to be back in here in Complex. Josh, who has been sitting back there, has been with us in 2016, is still here. Him, the entire crew at Complex has been amazing. They supported everything. All our dumb ideas that we had, they rolled with it. They made us look as good as possibly uh, possible, I guess. And so thank you all for your excellent work. Our catering partner was Mangosteen this year. Um, catering is another thing that is sort of underappreciated, I think, because we over the years had a lot of caterers, and some of them are great, some of them are hard to work with. Mangosteen has been great. I hope you like the food. We'll see on the feedback. But we also want to shout out uh, to them. They've been a great partner, and they kept you all fed. The barbecue was great yesterday, so thank you to Mangosteen for your support. <laughs> So my final thank you before we have this like little one more thing is to all of you. This event is about you, it's for you, it's by you. A lot of speakers have been attendees before. A lot of the workshop organizers, you know, came up after attending Area 41 in past years and then decided to do something. Uh, but even if you're just attending, just in quotes, you make this event what it is. So. Please give yourself a warm round of applause as well. And with that, we are going to bow out. Thank you so much for Area 41 this year. You have been all amazing. And we'll see when we see you next. Thank you so much. Bye. <clears throat> Actually, don't, don't forget Mr. Cooper for all the video hard work. Um, as we already mentioned it, but there's not enough space for that. Mr. Cooper, thank you as well for the video editing. Awesome help, and of course, awesome thank you.